Hey guys, this is Gaston from Connecting Tennis. Welcome again to another video. Today, a really good video, okay? Really good content. Something that a lot of people asked about, not only, okay, through the videos and everything, but when I was coaching, okay, older people, young people, USTA players, okay, juniors, 3.5, 4.0, 4.5, even five or six, okay? It's very important. Like when I talk, okay, about the overheads, this is great because when you work all the points, okay, imagine you're playing a point, one, two, three, 20 balls, you get to the middle of the court, you worked out all the points, you move the opponent around, that's your chance to go to the net, okay, place yourself there. You have the ball in the middle of the court, 80% of the people I see, they either miss the ball or they misplay it, okay, they play it somewhere where the ball is, is not too effective and then they lose because the other one hits the passing. Why? because they want to hit the ball too hard they think the ball in the middle of the court they have to kill the other person okay or because they live in the net or they just think ah oh, this is a very easy ball i don't need to move a lot every ball even when you're in the volley you have to keep moving okay you have to put everything until you finish the point so the ball we're gonna work now is the the dead ball you have in the middle after you work all the point and you have the ball to then go for the volley. That's the secret. You don't have to hit a winner with the ball. You have to place the ball somewhere, a strategy, okay, where you know you're gonna cover the volley and finish to the other side. We talked about this back then when we did the trivia strategy, remember? Open, go to the volley, close to the other side. Okay, so the difference here is if you have the ball here, if you're not too tall, if you have the ball here, you have to get to the ball, open a stance to either play cross court, okay, now thinking as a righty or lefty, same thing open a stand, take the ball up, okay, follow and bring the racket back again, okay, don't take it down because the ball is going to go to the net, don't take the ball up like this because the ball is going to go long, hitting in the height of the ball here and following the same line to play cross court, now if you're going to play uh, down the line from the middle, okay, in that direction, you can either hit it, hide it here with a close stand from up, playing down the line and follow or playing cross court, okay, high in the ball, and play it cross court and then close with the other one. Now, when you get a low ball, I'm gonna move a little so you guys can see. When you get a low ball, it's hard to play with the open stand, the low ball. Why? Because most likely you're gonna bring first your hips, okay? You're gonna end up with your shoulder here, the racket, you're gonna lose, okay? The, the sweet spot of hitting the ball in front of you. So there, what we do, close stance, getting really low under the ball very important you always have to get under the level of the ball if you're hitting up here you're under the ball if you're hitting down here you can't hit it just from here naturally the ball is going to go down you have to get under the ball okay here hit it from under and spin fast so the ball can get over the net and go either cross court or down the line i'm going to show you guys a couple of balls to see how how i do it i'm going to do the hitting and then the closing in the ball i'm going to record from behind so you guys can see how I move, how I round the ball, and then I hit. Very, very important. Remember, the ball is here, always following the same line, so the ball can go after you hit it to the place you say, okay? Not like this, not like this. You know you're gonna either go long or to the net. If you are with a short ball, okay, low ball, close stance, sorry, um, close stance, yes, here, getting under the level of the ball and spinning fast, don't look with the lower ball, okay? Don't try to go hard, flat, because of course you're under the level of the net. Okay, try to go with a safer ball, a spinning fast, okay, around the ball, and taking it with a good angle, either down the line or cross court. Okay guys, there you had the chance to see how I do this hitting, okay? How I move my body, how I get to the point of impact, how I hit, how I finish, okay? All the detail uh, and the fast and slow motion, all the detail of how I get to the ball, how I approach the ball, okay? Playing is smart, okay? Very important, don't play hard, okay? Powers and time is overrated. Play smarter, okay? Plays the ball. Think when you hit it once, hit the next ball. What is gonna happen? What could happen? That's when I make your level, okay, go up. This is very important to close the point. 
a lot of questions that I get is like, Gaston, how can I close the point? I play matches, you know, I hit from baseline, really good rallies, but I can't close. This is the key, okay? This is the key shot to win points. If you do this, you're gonna close 80, 90% more, okay? The points that you were closing before. So focus, your legs always 100%. Think where you're playing, okay? With a strategy, why you're playing there, see where your opponent is, and then get ready for the next ball, okay? Don't relax until you don't close the point. If you guys, I hope you guys really like the video, like, like I'm doing it, okay? Like I like it when I'm doing it. If you didn't subscribe, subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned with everything, okay? All the videos. I'm gonna be posting two videos per week, remember? Two videos per week. So a lot of content, a lot of new things and information coming for you guys, okay? To get better, to step up on your game, okay? And take your, next, uh, your game to the next level. Connectingtennis.com, every video goes with a blog. I always say it, I like to, to, to repeat it guys so you remember. Read the blogs, it has always a little more explanations, some other words that I can explain what I'm telling in the video. Uh, all the emails that I send every week, okay, it's very, very important, very good content. I talk a lot about, compare what I talk in the videos with what's, what's going on on the tour with some players that are showing up in new tournaments. So very, everything together will, will help you guys uh, a lot of free content that you can get to step up and to keep improving. Thank you guys and see you next time.